Argentina is going to purchase JF-17 Thunder aircraft from Pakistan. The Argentine Air Force is the national aviation branch of the Armed Forces of the Argentine Republic. FAA founded in 1945 currently operates 25 Lockheed Martin A-4AR Fighting Hawk and 25 FMA EA-58 Bucara. Argentina is seriously considering purchasing JF-17 Thunder aircraft from Pakistan to consolidate its defensive capabilities. According to Air Chief of the Argentine Air Force, Brigadier Xavier Isaac, Argentine Air Force is contemplating purchasing JF-17 Thunder Block 3 from Pakistan. A high-level delegation of the Argentine Air Force had visited Pakistan in 2017 to examine the fighter jet. Argentina Air Force is interested in purchasing JF-17 Block 3. According to recent news, Buenos Aires will acquire around 40 JF-17 from Pakistan within next 5 to 10 years. The Pak JF-17 Thunder is a lightweight, single-engine, multi-role combat aircraft developed jointly by the Pakistan Aeronautical Complex and the Chengdu Aircraft Corporation of China. JF-17 can be used for multiple roles, including interception, ground attack, anti-ship, and aerial reconnaissance. JF-17 is an evolution that started from Project Sabre 2 or Project Super 7. Technically both projects were meant to upgrade the Chinese J-7 Taylor to meet PAF's requirements but when we see the evolved JF-17 of today it is way more sophisticated and advanced to the latter. The foundational work of modern JF-17 started in the late 1990s. The airframe design was freeze in 2001 due to lack of R&D funds however the first prototype took to air in 2003. A total of six prototypes were made after production started. As of 2020 PAF has 120 plus operational units in service. There are two blocks Block 1 and Block 2 and the work on Block 3 is in progress which is near to its completion. Block 2 also has a dual seat variant. JF-17 Block 3 will be introduced with more advanced weapon systems including PL-1-15 long-range BBR missiles. Argentina is not the only state that has shown interest in Pakistani JF-17. Iran, Azerbaijan, Zimbabwe, Bangladesh, Myanmar, Egypt, Lebanon, Malaysia, Morocco, Nigeria, Sri Lanka, Algeria and Sudan also want to buy them. Developed jointly by Pakistan and China, the JF-17 meets all modern requirements and is able to form the basis of a modern and powerful air force. JF-17 Block 2 Thunders are equipped with KLJ-7A, radar and Block 3 will be equipped with active electronic synthetic array AESA radars. The South Korean aerospace company Kai reportedly had an agreement with the Argentine Air Force to supply it F-A-50 fighter aircraft but rescinded as it capitulated to the diplomatic pressure of the United Kingdom, UK, which is Argentina's geopolitical rival. JF-17 is one of the best option for Argentina Air Force. The Pak JF-17 Thunder, or CAC FC-1 Shaolong Fierce Dragon, is a lightweight, single-engine, multi-role combat aircraft developed jointly by the Pakistan Aeronautical Complex PAC, and the Chengdu Aircraft Corporation CAC, of China. It was designed to replace the A5C, F7P PG, Mirage 3, and Mirage B combat aircraft in the Pakistan Air Force. JF-17 can perform air supremacy, interception, aerial reconnaissance, ground support, in-depth strike, anti-ship strike missions and aerial reconnaissance. Its designation, JF-17, by Pakistan is short for, Joint Fighter 17, while the designation and name, FC-1 Shaolong, by China means, Fighter China 1 Fierce Dragon. The first chief project director of JF-17 former Air Marshal retired Shahid Latif once mentioned that JF-17 have the capability to be upgraded 4.5 generation jets. JF-17's Block 2 are as capable as Rafale, F-16, Saab JAS-39 Gripen or Su-30. Argentina has been expressing interest in importing JF-17 since many years. Currently, Argentina Air Forces operate mainly A-4AR and FMA EA-58 aircrafts. The JF-17 aircraft had been produced as an affordable and modern replacement to French-made Mirage 3 and F-7 interceptors. 
Pakistan had long been trying to find countries to buy the JF-17 in order to reduce the per-unit cost the Pakistan Air Force pays. The lightweight, single-engine, multi-role combat jet, jointly developed by Pakistan Aeronautical Complex and China's Chengdu Aircraft Corporation, sells at an attractive price point, with a unit cost of just around $15 to $25 million. The JF-17 can deploy diverse ordnance, including air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles, and a 23mm GSH-23-2 twin barrel autocannon. Powered by a Guzhou WS-13 or Plymouth Road 93 afterburning turbofan, it has a top speed of Mach 1.6. The JF-17 is to become the backbone of the Pakistan Air Force PAF, complementing the General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon at half the cost. The PAF inducted its first JF-17 squadron in February 2010. In 2015 Pakistan produced 16 JF-17s. As of 2016, Pakistan is believed to have the capacity to produce 25 JF-17 per year. 58% of the airframe is Pakistani and 42% Chinese-Russian origin. As of December 2016 Pakistan Aeronautical Complex has manufactured 70 jets in the country for use by the Pakistan Air Force of the Block 1 type, and 50 jets of the Block 2 type. In February 2019 the battle-hardened JF-17 of Pakistan Air Force shot down two Indian planes. JF-17 played a vital role during this mission. JF-17 strike force of PAF which targeted six different points inside Indian-occupied Kashmir. It displayed an excellent stand of range and jamming capabilities. After PAF's retaliatory strikes to punish Indian misadventures, JF-17 served on the front line on combat air patrol missions. Pakistan Air Force managed to destroy a MiG-21 Bison in aerial combat, capturing Indian Air Force pilot in Hanandan Berthaman, who was handed over to India on March 1, 2019. Another Indian front line, co-called Best Jet the Su-30 MKIs was also shot down by Pakistani JF-17. PAF JF-17 is a front line, reliable and lethal assets since its induction in 2010. The Pakistan Air Force already inducted twin-seater version known as the JF-17B for both enhanced operational capability and training. Preparations for a more advanced and technologically sophisticated Block 3 version of the aircraft are underway and the AESA radar, KJ-7A, has been developed, which can track 15 targets and engage 4 targets simultaneously. JF-17 Block 3 will be a single-seat variant. It will feature further avionics advancements such as helmet-mounted display and sight HMDS system, a new single-panel multifunctional display MFD, an active electronically scanned array AESA radar paired with an infrared search and track IRST system, and a cockpit with a flight control stick on the side, an NRIE TKLJ 7A AESA radar, more use of composites, a new engine, and a two-seater cockpit option, with a top speed of 2.0 plus Mach. Pakistani Air Force officials have described it as a fourth generation plus fighter jet. According to unconfirmed media reports, the induction is expected to start around 2021. JF-17 Thunder Block 3 will replace obsolete old fleet of MiG-21 in the Azerbaijani Army's arsenal and will be most advanced fighter aircraft in its entire air force providing it advanced air-to-air, air-to-surface and air-to-sea strike and recon capabilities. Azerbaijan Thunders will likely house Turkish subsystems. Serial production of the JF-17 Block 3 began at the end of 2020. This version has, among other things, an air refueling system and a perfect radar. In particular, the Block 3 modification is equipped with an active electronically scanned array radar system, which gives the aircraft the ability to detect targets at long range, including against the background of the Earth. In addition to the radar, the aircraft is equipped with several color displays in the cockpit and a helmet-mounted sight, which greatly facilitates piloting and air combat. The AESA radar system, with an active phased array antenna, is the KLJ-7A manufactured by the China Electronics Technology Group Corporation CETGC. The CETGC claims the KLJ-7A has similar characteristics to the radar used in the American 5th generation F-35 fighters. 
In particular, with the help of the new radar, the JF-17 will be able to detect targets at a distance of up to 170 kilometers and will have a combat advantage over the F-16C, D and F-15C, D base versions not equipped with AFAR radars. Tracking 15 air targets simultaneously and simultaneously, capturing four targets puts the JF-17 Block 3 higher in capabilities than the Russian Su-30 MKI, Su-35S, MiG-35 as well as the French Rafale. The aircraft has high maneuverability, has a modern new generation engine with increased thrust, carries almost four tons of combat load. It can carry short and medium range air-to-air -air missiles, bombs, anti-ship and anti-radar missiles, and outboard fuel tanks. There is a built-in 23mm double-barreled cannon. Argentina has shown interest in JF-17 Thunder. Sources suggest that Argentina Air Force is looking for 40 multirole fighter jets. JF-17 Thunder can provide BBR capability without breaking bank. Moreover JF-17 Thunder is a complete package multirole fighter jet which can carry following armaments. Air-to-air -air configuration. PL-15 BLRB BRM will be integrated with Block 3, effective range equals 200 to 250 km. PL-12 SD-10B BRM, effective range equals 100 plus km. PL-10 WVRM will be integrated with Block 3. PL-5 EII WVRM. Air-to-ground configuration. Various unguided bombs. Guided bombs including LGBs, PGBs and standoff weapons. Anti-radiation missiles LD-10 and MAR-1. Anti-ship configuration. C-802AK. CM-400AKG. Moreover JF-17 Thunder comes with state-of-the-art KLJ-7B2 radar, kill block 2, and KLJ-7A AESA radar for block 3. Thunder can also carry various types of targeting, reconnaissance as well as jamming pods. JF-17 Thunder is a complete package for Argentina Air Force. Various countries including Algeria, Ukraine, Azerbaijan, Bulgaria, Bangladesh, Iraq, Egypt, Iran, Lebanon, Malaysia, Morocco, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Albania, Sudan, Jordan, Peru, Venezuela, Sri Lanka, Indonesia, South Africa and Uruguay have shown interest in the JF-17 Block 3. The Argentina Air Forces may purchase around 50 JF-17 Block 3 from Pakistan and China. Thank you for watching the Daily Thunders, latest news about JF-17. If you want you can subscribe and like the video. For feedback please leave your comments. For more videos about JF-17 Thunder please click the bell icon. Appreciate your support, stay safe and keep watching the Daily Thunders.